Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today you guys I'm sorry if you can hear the fan in the background it is only 16 degrees celsius today and it's windy outside but it's quite warm upstairs so I'm just kind of feeling a little bit hot and I don't necessarily feel like sitting here for you know 40 odd minutes sweating and feeling absolutely disgusting so the fan is on. I really hope it doesn't pick up in the microphone it probably won't but just in case it does. <laughs> Regardless, we are here today to go over the month's worth of footage of plushy hunting. Why can I never say, I, I need to like figure out a script to say every single time I do these videos. We are going to be going over all of the footage that I recorded over the month of August of all of the plushies that I found out in the wild, including uh, predominantly squishmallows, but then also, you know, builder bears, uh, jelly cats, Athmals, bum bums, you know, all those kinds of good fun things. And I didn't actually think that I had that much footage because I only went out on a couple of different occasions because I was sick twice throughout the month of August. Once being very, very bad and I'm actually still trying to get over said sickness. So I may have to do some editing to the voiceover segment of this particular video because I probably will have to stop a couple of times to cough. But I'm like, I'm not sick anymore. I'm just it's, it's this cough that just won't go away thanks to whatever virus it was that I had. Like I'm on steroids, y'all, and I'm having to use my asthma pump like daily. It's It's been a whole thing. I was nearly in hospital. I also feel really awkward today because I know that my husband is in the bedroom right next door, like laying down in bed. And I don't know why I feel so awkward. Just recently, I've been feeling so just like, uh, look, listen, let's just go ahead and get on into the hunting footage. So this month we're starting off at a place called Casa Craft that has never actually had Squishmallows before in my experience. So I had to walk in and give you guys a little overview of what was there. Nothing new to my eyes per se, but it was still nice to see what they had in stock regardless. They had actually some pretty good squads in here, including like this really cute clip squad that is pretty recent. And that's going to be uh, an edit there because I had to cough. So that's great. But then they also had a whole bunch of these 16 inch ones up here, including some from quite some months ago, which is actually pretty cool to see. And then they had this really cool 12 inch squad or variation of squads. And like, look at this wall back here. It was so cool. Then walking into the Kmart that was right next door to the Kesa Craft, actually, funnily enough. We saw some bum bums and some other cuties, like there are some Mariah Elizabeth back there. And then a whole bunch of biggins over here and just, you know, bins full of squish just all over the place, everywhere. This random unicorn bag in amongst all of them as well. I feel like this was a really bad time to record this voiceover because I feel like I need to cough again and it's so annoying. But anyway, there was a whole bunch of uh, Squishmallows here. They were so stocked. And then I saw the Hello Kitty in other Sanrio friend costumes. So, of course, we had the Pom Pom Purin. You know, I don't know why I didn't get these because they're so cute and they are not in stores anymore. They are completely sold out, like, everywhere. My Melody. What I don't like about them, though, I think the reason I didn't get them is because Kitty still has her little red bow on like under every single costume and it just seems a little bit weird to me like maybe they could have omitted just that one little detail because she's still Hello Kitty with or without that little red bow you know uh, Karomi was really really tempting to get like I'm not even gonna lie and so was Cinema Roll actually I hate how many cuts I've already had to do this is ridiculous but uh, I didn't actually see Cinema Roll there straight away I was looking around everywhere else and then I found one cinema roll in the entire store, like on all of these shelves. And then I saw the Muppets, which I was a little bit shocked by. I was not a Muppets fan growing up, actually. The only Muppet that like deserves any recognition, to be honest, is uh, Sir Kermit, Mr. Kermit the Frog, because he is the best meme imaginable. But I'm just, I'm not a puppet uh, person. Ah, okay, that was me. That was me getting shivers because I don't, I don't like puppets. I don't like the Muppets. And then there was the uh, the 25 or 30 year uh, Lion King anniversary squish over there as well. Lots of Pokemon down here. But yeah, I just, I, I can't do puppets. Uh, even just thinking about them just makes me feel weird and sick. And then there was actually some random clippies up here as well, which was very nice to see. There was actually still a Megan that I had to like reach for my life to grab. That was actually kind of really funny. But there she is. She's so cute. That's actually a really good clip 
oh, this chocolate chip cookie, I think is what it is. I don't know, whatever it is, it's so cute. But yeah, there was actually some bum bums and then the Disney princesses, you know, Jasmine, Tiana, Moana, Ariel, uh, Elsa and Anna. So the whole squad was there. And then there was this big wall of squish at the back as well. And, you know, when I was editing back this footage, I realized that there was a couple of squishmallows there that I should have gotten for presents for people because birthdays are coming up. But, you know, these things happen and I, I might just have to go back there because surely they'll still be there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, and then this little Sawyer. Oh, my goodness. So cute. Just kind of hiding out in the back there. Uh, another came out. This was the same day, but a different shopping center. My sibling and I went to four different shopping centers on this particular day. It was quite hectic. I don't know why I'm suddenly coughing so much. It's so annoying because some of my voiceover footage is like not going to match up perfectly. And that's really going to annoy me. But anyway, like so many Dragonites, so many Princess Jasmine just there. Like you guys, this came out was pretty, pretty stocked, actually. I'm not even going to lie about it. And these stackables are just everywhere as well. I was shocked to see this Valentine's Day little pug uh, bum bum. So, you know, obviously I had to include that in the footage. And so many hug me's, like absolutely everywhere. I just don't really feel like hug me's are as popular. I personally do not collect them anymore. I did have a couple in the beginning, but I am, well, I mean, two of them, two of my five are actually on my Depop can't sell them so might just have to give them away to children as gifts but you know we'll uh we'll deal with that hurdle once it comes to it and then of course the massive pokemon over there this is toy world they have a pokemon swirly wheel stand and they have a whole bunch of squish including so many new ones like this sharpe doggo i actually did a short for this one which it only got like 30 views which is kind of sad but like I did do a short for it. This squad was actually missing one member though, which was the pink fennec fox, whose name is Miracle, which actually that is the name of my dad's wife. Her name is Miracle Grace. Uh, I do call her Grace because that's how I was introduced to her as, but her name is actually Miracle. So I was kind of hoping to see Miracle the fox to buy that as a gift for my dad's wife, but alas, she was not there. So that's okay. I'm still on the lookout for her. It'll be really, really nice. Oh, and then Minerva, the beautiful girly. You know, I don't know why I haven't gotten her. It's probably just because I just really don't have the space for Bigger Squish right now. But maybe one day I still will. She is still available to buy online. And these are the new, I think, oh goodness, I think they're 20 inches actually. So this is Ziomara, if that's how you pronounce her name. But she's got the angy eyes. She's so cute. And yes, she totally fell on me as I was trying to like show her in the footage that's why she was down on the floor and then this toy world had so many clips like just an abundance of clips and then also these ones i think are 14 inch ones i don't know why but 14 inch squish just like kind of really freak me out because they're right between 12 and 16 inches so i don't know i just feel like they don't fit anywhere and just i, I can't explain it i just can't this is at a different shopping center. This is a little place called Funplex Game Zone. And there was an Adabelle, the strawberry frog. Like, they're actual legitimate squishmallows in these claw machine games. Like, there's a Pylar, and there is, uh, I think that's actually an Austin in there. And, like, oh my gosh, like, I just couldn't even. Like, this Valentine's Day Pop Tart, like, excuse me. And there's, like, Alexi, the purple cow with the gold horns. That one, I think it's a guava. I really, really want it. It's either a guava or a grapefruit. You guys, oh my gosh, I wanted so many. I just wanted to like call whoever runs this particular store and just be like, you know, can I offer you money to buy the Squishmallows from directly out of these machines? Like there's even uh, one of the Highland Cows back there, the little uh, Galaxy Owl, who I have a 16 inch version of. These clips were honestly so cute. Like it was just really cool to see a different shop having Squishmallows in it. Normally this store does not have Squishmallows specifically inside of their claw machines, but obviously they have recently stocked them up. But yeah, so that was really, really cool to see. And there's like even a little shark there. That cat I wanted so badly. You have no idea. I can't even explain to you. Uh, and then we went into a TK Maxx just randomly. I went to the toy section and there was actually Squishmallows there. I have never once seen Squishmallows at a TK Maxx. So this was just interesting. That shark was so dirty. It was absolutely disgusting. But yeah, like I wasn't 
uh, there was nothing new or anything. I just wanted to show the fact that there was squishmallows there because it was a shock. <laughs> and then, of course, they had the Anna there. At this Coles, we actually saw, or, I mean, I should say I saw half of the new five inch squad that is hitting the shelves of Coles and uh, Woolworths. And so there was uh, the spots, the cheetah, and then this little wasabi sea cucumber, which I love that the little spotty dots on the back actually go all around the back of the squishmallow. That's a lot of detail. It's very nice. And then this one is Tristan the dinosaur, but he's like uh, little horns or whatever. The things on his head are shiny. So that was really cool. That was three members out of that new squad and of course there were bum bums so I had to have a look at what they had and this little uh Melissa the muffin I don't know I feel like she's seen better days dude but she was so cute I had to show her and then at this Woolworths as you can see that Altman the red squid had like weird stuff on it kind of looks like snail goop but I think that like one of the bubble uh toys or something maybe like exploded on him it just looked really nasty and like questionable and I didn't want to know anything about it so I tried not to touch it very much. <laughs> well okay I'm sorry now I'm just swallowing. So at Target this was the first time I was seeing Forks the Phoenix from the new Harry Potter squad. I was very shocked and then of course I saw the sorting hat with the creepy eyes. I made a short for these guys too. I don't really know how well it did. I haven't actually checked just yet but those were the only two members of the Harry Potter squad that I saw at this Target. I just kind of did like a little overview of what they had elsewhere. Of course Cascade that massive turtle that I still really really want and I still haven't gotten him because I just don't have the space. But I just, I don't know, one day I'll probably cave and I'll buy him if he's still available in the very near future. But yes, yeah, so of course there are still some hug me squad, uh, some, some hug me's, <laughs> what am I trying to say? And so many Pokemon squish because I just, I feel like Pokemon just goes a little bit too crazy and they release way too many and then they just don't get bought. And like Maril, I don't think is a very popular Pokemon. I mean, I'm not necessarily a fan. I'm also not exactly a fan of Dragonite if we're being completely honest here. But like, anyway, I mean, I have actually drawn uh, like Pokemon Squishmallows that I wish existed in real life and they include like Eevee, Flareon, you know, all of the Eevee Lucians would be absolutely phenomenal. They would translate into Squishmallow form so absolutely perfectly. And then I've also drawn like a Jigglypuff, which I think would be really good because I feel like Jigglypuff is pretty much the perfect shape as well to translate. And who else have I done? I feel like I've done somebody else. I just can't seem to think. It's another fox-like one. Vulpix, I've drawn Vulpix as a Squishmallow and it actually turned out really, really cool. I really, really enjoy doing stuff like that, but, um, you know, maybe one day I'll share that with you guys very soon. And uh, yeah, so at this, I think this was a Kmart, I, I don't remember, but it was just a bunch of, you know, random stuff, lots of Pokemon, of course. And also Teddy Ursa was another one that I thought was a bit of an odd choice to release as a Squishmallow. But anyway, so here are the other 16 inches that are left over at the big W. Now, I think that this from here until the end of the video is all just one trip, which I actually did by myself two days ago at my local shopping centre. So there's actually a lot of footage. It's more than half of the footage that I got for the whole entire month. So if that like says anything. So there's the Deddy Bears. They're so stinking cute. I just adore them. And I saw the Wednesday Monster High doll and she was $120, which is ridiculous. She's $99 at Kmart. So if I ever do see her at Kmart, I think I might actually get her from there. But just to know that she's even available is just amazing. I like I am a high 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 key Adams family f uh, fiend like I've, I've always been obsessed with Adams family especially Wednesday I've always like I guess related to Wednesday myself and uh yeah anyway <laughs> speaking of actually Wednesday and uh Jenna Ortega uh, Beetlejuice you know is coming out this week which is going to be absolutely fantastic oh yeah so these are the new Afmals the Halloween ones I actually have a few of these uh, that I pre-ordered that are coming in the mail hopefully in the next few days so I will be doing a cute little unboxing and like unveiling of uh, those blind boxes that's going to be so much fun and I was just kind of showing what else they had over here in the blind plus plush section they had the Mariah Elizabeth keychain uh, little mystery bags as well and I 
yeah, I just I had one in my hand. I didn't want you guys to think that I was going to buy one, so I had to show you that I was putting it back. I, I, does that even matter? I don't even know if that matters. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think I'm about to cough again. Cascade, my little baby. You know, I really, 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 really want him, but I just can't justify paying $20 for a, a 7.5-inch Squishmallow. I know I've done it before, but I just, I should not be overpaying for plushies, you know? So I didn't get him once again. And uh, I was just having a look at, having a feel of the Enos, the brand new Enos in comparison to my second hand Enos that I got as a mystery plush. Just kind of showing you guys like what's here. There are some Muppets mixed in there with some Lion King. You know, I'm probably one of the only people in the world that is not a Lion King fan. I am a big Disney fan, but just not the Lion King. That is the one series of movies that I cannot watch. Uh, because I had nightmares as a kid and it wasn't of like Scar necessarily. It was the hyenas. Something about the hyenas really, really creeped me out. And I don't know, like their laugh. Just <laughs> I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't even talk about it. I, oh, I, just picturing them in my head just makes me like, no, 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 no. I can't do it. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. But I can't do The Lion King. It's just not me. Like, I love Timon and Pumbaa. They're absolutely hilarious. But, like, I just can't do the movies. I don't know. I feel like, was there a TV show at one point? I feel like if there was, that's probably more so what I, what I have memories of. Oh, this was actually the first time I saw all of the Harry Potter squad all together, like, in the same store. So... I mean, here's the leftover big squish, you know, big deal, whatever. There's random, like, hug me's and whatnot. And that footage had to cut there because there was a kid that walked right into my shop. But anyway, oh, yeah. But then also I saw these Halloween clips. So this was actually so funny because there was one Bridget clip, the, the cow bat, and she didn't have a tag. And then I looked over all of the other Squishmallows in the store. And then right at the end, just as I was about to leave... I saw another Bridget clip hidden in amongst the back of everything and she had a tag so then I was able to get some footage of her with her tag. I don't know why I just I had to mention that. <laughs> I can't believe we actually have an Emily in Australia that's like the coolest thing ever. I don't know if we've ever had an Emily before because I've only been collecting Squishmallows for like a year and a half at this point but there's the Bridget clip without the tag and then here's like the mess that everybody has left behind, which is fantastic, amazing. It looks beautiful. You know, we love to see a gigantic mess. And then here are like the Harry Potter Squishmallows and some other random stuff. Seeing the Mandrake for the first time, my goodness gracious, I am just obsessed. I'm not going to get one for myself because like whilst I love Harry, Harry Potter, I just I don't have like a dedicated section of my house to like put Harry Potter things, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. I mean, look, it's there, it's available. They've actually just become available on Be Mine Collections. So, if I really wanted to, I could go and get one of each. I don't know, because this particular squad is like the best one to me. The Forks is amazing. The Sorting Hat, while creepy, still amazing. Uh, the Dobby, fantastic. I love his little bow that's like holding up his rags and like his little folded ears. It's just, he is phenomenal. Th this particular squad, th like the Harry Potter squad, it's just phenomenal. Like, the only Harry Potter squad that I've actually thought maybe, maybe I'd actually purchase one or two or three or all four of. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had to do a cut, so that's uh, that's nice. But I saw, like, the Sun Cat Aphmau out of a packaging, which is very interesting. And then I also saw, actually, that they had the 8-inch the, the and the 10-inch versions of those Lion King Squishmallows I had to show you guys. And then this is the Bridget with the tag. The, uh, like I said before, I had to show you guys. I don't know why. I don't even know what I'm talking about in this voiceover. I don't even know if anybody even listens to the voiceovers, honestly. If you do listen to the voiceovers, can you leave, like, the, the eyeball emoji down below? Like, you know, the one that's, like, two eyeballs. Leave that down below right now and leave no context because I want to know if you guys actually listen to the ramblings that I do when I'm doing these voiceovers. Not much new at Zing, but there was a Gigi. Is her name Gigi? Oh my gosh, what is the ginger cat's name? I feel like it's Gigi. But yeah, there was a, a Gigi, I think, if that's its name. And then the squirrel coffee. There's a couple of that one. Oh, ah, that was weird. I don't know what that was. It was like maybe a half burp, but also not really. 
I don't know. That was so strange. But anyway, we're back at that toy wheel that we were at earlier in the video. And there was just a whole bunch of random stuff. Still so many clips, just like an abundance of clips. A whole bunch of like 7.5 inch scores. There was even still uh, What's His Face from uh, Beauty and the Beast. I can't think of names right now. I'm, I don't know. Because I'm still recovering from being sick. I feel like I'm just like really fatigued constantly. The little the little the little whale and so many big squishmallows up the top there as well as the scented squad also i keep forgetting to show you guys these creepy cats because that purple double-headed one i am so desperate to get i want it so 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 badly i've actually got them in my cart on the games bin uh website as well as like some of the mystery blind bag of like the clips because i just i don't know what if I pull one and then I randomly like it, you know? So, you know, I've th there's that. So maybe one day I'll actually include some creepy cats in one of these uh, holes at the end of uh, hunting. I don't know. We'll see. But also the bum bums at Toy World were restocked, including big 7.5 inch ones, including the sunflower. Like my sister just paid like $25 to get one of those off eBay, plus shipping, mind you. And, uh, and then literally just like a month later, I find one at Toy World for like the regular recommended retail price. It's, it, I was so annoyed. And also that, that coloring book being $8 was just ridiculous. Okay, so Build-A-Bear, I had to come in here because I saw that there was so much Halloween stuff. I was shook to my core. Even the little beanie buns, uh, beanie, beanie buddies, whatever they're called, the beanie bums, what are they called? There was even a cinema roll sleeper, which uh, you bet your bottom dollar. I actually ordered one of those online. I'm not even gonna lie about it. I also maybe, maybe, maybe ordered a cinema roll online because he randomly became available. But anyway, I was just kind of showing you guys the Sanrio stuff because that's like my most favorite stuff at Build a Bear. There was Karomi, and then we also saw the Candy Corn cinema roll, which you know I was so tempted to get all three because all three were there. Like, look at the zombie pom pom here and like, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. You guys, I literally nearly walked out of there with $150 worth of uh, Builder Bears, but I didn't. I really wanted that Halloween sleeper as well, but I, I resisted, I definitely resisted. And then I showed you guys just kind of like some of the Halloween stuff that they had. I didn't really go into too much detail because I was also holding Karomi in my hands and it was a bit hard to kind of like film and do all of that. I also saw the Halloween Stitch in person, which is pretty cute. And then here's some of the uh, uh, <laughs> Sanrio stuff they had up on their wall on display and then some of the Harry Potter stuff. And there is my Harumi all done and dusted. So yes, you guys will see that in the whole segment of the video. Axel, haven't seen him in person in a store in a long time. This jelly cat right here, oh my goodness, I, it's so cute. This red panda I'm thinking about getting for my little four-year-old brother for Christmas. I would love an avocado jelly cat to add to my jelly, my, sorry, my, well, yes, my jelly cat collection, but mostly my avocado shelf. And then all of their bum bums were so cute. I mean, cute, yes, cute, but also cheap. $3 for the little ones and then $5 for the normal sized ones. It was insane. Like if there was any there that I wanted, it just would have been so great. So then at the time zone, I had to see what squish they had in their claw machines now. So there's some newer ones in here from the last time that I got footage. And I had to show you guys the push in and the My Little Ponies as well. And then they even had bum bums and like that little platypus Mitch, whatever uh, clip and like some Sanrio stuff. There was some clips in this random machine thing. And then these bum bums, like the push ins, the miffies, the, uh, the, yeah, the Squishmallow Clips, they're all, like, prizes, because, like, you know, you, I don't know, if you guys know how these places work, obviously, you play the games, you get tickets, and then you can redeem the tickets for prizes, so you, I don't think you can actually buy these things, but they're there, and there was so many bum-bums, I was just shocked, like, you never see that many bum-bums in any one particular place, so this is Toymate, they've moved where their Squishmallow wall is, this is actually a bigger wall than what they had them on before, and I was just kind of doing a big sort of overview of what they had. There was actually a Sonic there, which I was shocked by. 
And yeah, just so many, like if I wanted that 12 inch Lee, she's right there. I could just go and get her like whenever I wanted to. So, you know, it's just nice to know that there are still so many of these Squishmallows still available at Toymate. And Toymate is like, this place is only like a, a 10, 15 minute drive from my house. So it's not even like it's that far away or like out of my way or anything. Whoa, whoa, that, that bit of footage just kind of made me feel a little bit dizzy. There's so many of Xander, the little T-Rex, and a random Cam, the cat here, who was very lopsided, the poor guy, but he was just on that random shelf. I walked into the thrift store called Savers, you guys. This is the last store in the voiceover segment, and like it was just insane. There were so many unicorns. This one, I'm pretty sure it was like a 16 inch. Absolutely enormous. I almost bought it to steal the stuffing out of it, but I thought... That was a little bit mean. This Omar still had its tag. It's a Valentine's Day one. This one, we just saw heaps of him at the Toy Mate, which was crazy. And this place is, this particular thrift store is right next to the Toy Mate. So, I don't know. It was just, th it was a lot. There were so many Squishmallows. Like this little teal minty uh, sloth, I almost got this one. And they were also cheap as well. Like, it was... Uh, my gosh and then hannah like what why is hannah here when she's still available at like big w and everything insane this one i knew was a squishmallow before i even looked at the bum tag the dumbo octopus or june bug as i like to call them that little bijan i think is i don't know how to pronounce that name and then here was one unicorn and then i believe there's another unicorn yeah the pink unicorn and i think that I don't know, but there was a lot of unicorns. This is the whole haul of like, I just, there was a trolley right next to me. So I showed you guys like everything that was like in the trolley. This is all the Squishmallows that were at the Savers. Oh my gosh, my hair is a little bit yucky today. I don't like that. I'm going to do something with my hair. Give me a second. I'm going to put my back clip in my hair because I don't like when the back of my hair looks that way. It just, I don't know, it gives me the ick. I don't even know if this is going to look any good, but I guess we're going to do it and find out anyway why do I feel so awkward I hate that I feel so awkward like I do this every month I, I record videos like all the time I don't know why I feel so stinking awkward today my hair low-key just looks worse I don't know what to do about it I'm just gonna roll with it I usually don't really care how I look anyway my hair is so dead it all needs to be completely cut off I'm probably gonna get it cut very short again I reckon that like at least this much of my hair is just dead ends. It's yucky, nasty. We should get onto the whole segment. I feel like that's definitely what we need to do now. I need to stop talking about my stupid, ugly hair. I feel weird because I have different earrings in. I've got like a little spider here, a little spooder and a little chain one here. And then I've got like this uh, safety pin looking thing, but it's actually like manufactured as an earring. I don't know, I feel weird. My ears are like moving and now my hair's moving. Let's get on to the Squishmallow segment of today's whole video. We're going to start with the Squish that you guys have most likely already seen on the channel because I did do a little like haul unboxing video. So we did get little Lee and little Junie. Now I paid three dollars each for these which was just insane. If you want to watch the video it'll be up in that corner up there. It'll be linked. My husband was just coughing in the other room. We both got the virus quite obviously. We live in the same house. My husband's a couple of days behind myself in terms of healing or recovering I should say. But anyway I also have the tags for these and actually Junie is for my sister because she has been trying to steal my seven 0.5 inch Juni for the longest time. So this one is for my sister and look at how absolutely chunky it is. Like, excuse me, but where, like why? It's like a stress ball. I absolutely love it. But again, $3, there's the tag. And then Lee, $3 and there's the tag. And I just adore it. I love it. I love it so, so much. And uh, that is all of the clips. And I got those clips from somebody on Facebook in like one of the Squishmallow groups that I'm a part of. Like it's a, I guess, you know, sharing and like buy, swap and sell kind of group that I'm in. So then from eBay, actually from that same video, I got a five inch Trenton, which I'm just completely obsessed with. He's so wonky donkey and I just adore it. There's his little tag. And uh, again, up in that same video as the clips, that is where we actually unboxed this little cutie. I say unboxed, but like technically he came out of a package, like uh, what are they called? Like a parcel envelope slip thing. I don't know, but like, would you still call it an unboxing? 
I mean, it was a hole nonetheless, like an eBay haul, squish mail, <laughs> a squish mail haul. And then I actually also from eBay got this little cutie from a completely random person. It was not from the same person that I get most of my stuff, most of my secondhand squish mailers from. I'm just editing and I've actually realized going back onto my eBay purchased, uh, purchase history that the five inch Connor was actually from the same person that I get all of my second or well, majority of my secondhand squish from on eBay, but they've changed their username, which is what I kind of got a little bit confused about. So they're called Squish and Plush Dreams now instead of what their username was previously, which I could not try to pronounce. But anyway, <laughs> back to the video. So here is a little five inch Connor in all of his stinking cute glory, and he's got a tag. I'm just, you guys, like. I'm just obsessed and it was cheap too. I don't remember how much it was, maybe like $10. Like that is just absolutely insane to me. But yeah, the uh, the Connor from 2017, that's his squish date. That's just, I love him. I'm so obsessed and like, I know I told myself no cows and now I have like a whole entire collection of cows. Anyway, it's, it's a whole thing, it's a whole thing, but I'm really happy to have Connor and then Okay, so with this particular Squishmallow here, she's actually one of that uh, squad, the five inch squad that we only saw three of in the hunting footage. And I think my husband's blowing his nose now. I'm sorry if you can hear that. So what actually happened was, if you guys recall, actually, I'm going to link the video that I mentioned this in. It was an unboxing from Brickhead, Collect uh, Brickhead Collections, Brickhead Collectibles, whatever they're called, from Brickheads. Uh, that there was one Squishmallow that never got sent out to me from the ones that I had ordered or pre-ordered and it was a little green frog with a red bow. I think his name was Tomas and uh, you know six months had gone by since the, the order was originally made and like I had every other Squish except for that one and so I thought you know it's been six months I might just like send Brickheads a little message and they were like, oh, I'm so sorry. So that one's been put on back order. We don't get updates on those, yada, yada, yada. Uh, the, the best thing that we can think of is that, um, you know, maybe just like pick another five inch Squishmallow that we have in stock. And so I was like, okay, well, that's all right. Like, thank you for the update. I, like, I felt really bad for even emailing in the first place. Again, sorry if you can hear my husband coughing in the background. And they had, they had actually just put up this squad. And so I was like, well, how about Mary, the little moth? And they were like, yep, okay. That day it got dispatched. And then I had it in my hands two days later. Like, it was just insane. I have a feeling that they did express, which they did not even have to do. It was just, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm like very elated and she's so cute. She's actually so stinking cute. And I feel like I have read out Mary's tag before in a video. Yeah, I do think that I have because I have a clip version of Miri from the Valentine's Day uh, collection. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and watch my Valentine's Day Squishmallow videos. This little bit, I don't have a pair of scissors around me right now, but this little bit of fluff, I don't even know if you can see it, but it's really bothering me. Maybe if I put it up against my shirt. Can you see that little bit of like sticking up fur? Anyway, it doesn't even matter. So cute. I love her so much. And I'm just, I'm just very, I'm just very happy and elated to have this little cutie in my collection. I wasn't even expecting to have her in my collection, but I'm really glad that now I do. So then moving up to the next size of Squishmallow, these are another two that I got from eBay with, uh, along with Trenton and uh, the, the two clips in that video that I linked initially. So one of them is the eight inch Emily with uh, technically the gold highlights. I don't, I don't really know. It honestly just kind of seems like glittery to me, but technically this is apparently gold. And uh, so that is our beautiful Emily, the eight inch. And I did also recently get the 12 inch version of her and this one has tag. So I'm just like really super happy and I love the old style tag. It's so stinking cute. The only thing is it doesn't actually say what size she is specifically. Whereas like the newer tags, they do kind of give you at least the first part of like, so say it's a 7.5 inch, it'll say S7. It won't say 0.5 or anything like that. You've just kind of got to figure out yourself if it's a seven inch or a 7.5 inch. But anyway, Miss Emily, my, my you guys, you guys. Uh, and then the other one that I got in that video was Alva in the eight inch version. 
So there is her tag. I'm so, so happy. I absolutely adore her. I did a little comparison between this size and the other size of Elva that I have in that video that has already been linked. So you see how it says S8 and then hashtag 1508. That's what I mean by the tags showing what size the Squishmallow is. So Elva is quite clearly an eight inch Squishmallow. But then as for this one, as you can see on the front of the tag, actually you can't really see it. Oh no, there we go. So it says S7. So is Junie a seven inch or is she a 7.5 inch? I don't know for sure, but this Junie is actually not my Junie. This duty I got from Depop and she was $5 plus shipping, which excuse me, this is like, I only paid $8 for these combined, but then shipping, I don't count shipping $5, $3, $8 together for both of these junies. Whereas like on eBay right now for those two together, people are trying to sell them for like $40 and then shipping on top of that. It's just a little bit like, you know, it's a little bit loop de loo but she's like, she's got a tag and she's perfect. She's like, look at the, she's the perfect shape. She's like the perfect Junie. Like she's almost like exactly the same as mine, which I think is insane. Definitely a real Squishmallow as well. You know, it's got all of the tags and all of the things and the little hang tag and uh, the little loopy de doop hang tag and everything. I'm just, this is obviously <laughs> also for my sister. These are both for my sister. So then she can leave my Junies alone. But yeah, so there is Junie. And now onto the next size of Squishmallow, which is 12 inch. And this is actually the last Squishmallow before we move on to Aphmau's. And it is the 12 inch Austin with a fuzzy tummy and the little cheekies. It's so cute, you guys. It is so absolutely adorable. And yes, he's a little bit lumpy. And uh, this is this is one of the ones, this is the last one that I've already shown on the channel in that video, that very first video that I linked with the clips and Trenton, Emily and Elva. So this was the last one from that particular haul, from that same seller that I get majority of my stuff from, whether it be from Depop or Facebook or their eBay, which uh, they're, they're, all of the places will be linked uh, in the description box as always. But yeah, so another avocado squishmallow for my avocado shelf. I couldn't be happier. I think I have an Austin in like almost every single size available at this point. So I'm pretty happy about that. This next segment is going to be a little Afmau Me Meow haul. So I'm really excited about this. So you guys, these came from two different sellers on eBay. So first of all, if you guys watched the, I did like a little blind bag opening. I'll actually link it up in the corner of Afmau Me Meow clips. This one was my favorite of the bunch. And I actually got two of these. One of them was included in the giveaway that I did recently on my channel. But the one that I really, really wanted was actually this one. And they've actually sent it in its little bag as well, which I thought was super cute. Cause I actually had the idea of doing that as well, but then I never ended up doing that. But anyway, so here we go, you guys. And it was under recommended retail price, which I thought was really, really good. And I'm just, you guys, like, look at the color of the clip. It's just perfect. It is absolutely stunning, perfect, amazing, beautiful. I'm so obsessed. I love it. I'm so happy that I have it now rather than going out and uh, purchasing like a whole bunch more of those blind bags just to get like the same ones that I already had. Like now I've got her secured. So now if I do get any more, they're just gonna be like bonus extra ones to add to my collection. And that's okay. Like that's okay with me. I'm happy with that. And then from that same seller, we actually got this one, which obviously is the same as the one that I just showed you before, the one that I already had, but in the actual, like, I think they're six inch technically plush size. So here, this one is in all of its glory. It's so cute. I actually got two more of these particular ones, but I got them for my sibling. I'll put the picture up here. So there was like, uh, it was like one with cherries on its head and then the other one is like a macaron which is pink and mint uh, but yeah so I actually got those for my sibling and I've already given those to my siblings so they would have been a part of the haul but they've already been you know given to the recipient that they were intended for so there's that but I did want to show you guys anyway so oh my gosh like look at this little thing on its chest it's just too cute but yeah so this is the little plush version of the celestial one I don't I honestly can't remember what they're called or what their names are or anything like that but I just thought that this was just too cute 
And then from a different seller, I actually found this one as well. So I got both versions of this one, which is what I was really, really wanting. So I'm really excited about it. And it's so cute. They're so squishy and just like perfect. And I just, I love the detailing the embroidery like it's just these little guys are the cutest little things like look at the little paw prints like excuse me they're just they're just too cute they're like i don't know i feel like they're like little hot dogs nom, 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 nom. i don't even eat hot dogs they're so cute i love them i love them i'm just oh my gosh you guys like i don't even watch this youtuber i just think that these plushies are the most adorable things in the literal entire universe. That's all of the F mouse. And now we're gonna move on to Builder Bears. Ooh, I'm so excited for this segment. So actually, firstly, I wanna start off with a present that I got for one of my sisters, but I'm just a little bit worried that she's gonna watch this and see. Maybe she won't, maybe it'll be okay. Her birthday is very, very soon. It's this piggy. I actually got this piggy in store. So I'm just gonna show it really, really quickly and then put it away. I originally wanted to get her the lavender axolotl, but by the time that I actually had some money and went to order it online, it was sold out. So that's my bad, I should have gotten it earlier, but it's okay. I mean, maybe it'll come back in stock and I'll be able to get it for her then. Actually, I got that one like in store, as I said, and there was a giant sized lavender axolotl, but I didn't necessarily have $180 to spend on just one of my siblings. Like I do have five siblings, so it gets it gets to be a little bit much, you know, when you're spending a little bit too much on one sibling in comparison to another. Regardless, I mean, look, she would deserve it. Like, absolutely. It would be like one of the greatest things. It's just hard. Why do I have so many siblings? <laughs> Why do I love them all so much? Anyway, from eBay, I actually got my hands on a secondhand spring pink froggy. And I feel like she was stuffed kind of really sparsely. I feel like I might need to take her in and get her a little bit of extra stuffing. Also, when she came, it she kind of smelled funny. Like you can you can tell that she's gone through the washing machine. She smells like laundry liquid, which I don't really like. And she's not very soft. Like she's not as soft as what she would be if she was like brand new. But like she wasn't very expensive and I mean at least they washed her you know because she did look a little bit dirty in the pictures so that is really nice but also she was a little bit damp when she came so I'm also kind of sort of being a little bit weird about like no she doesn't smell like mildew or anything like that she just smells like laundry detergent but it's like they washed her didn't dry her properly and then put her in the packing slip to send her out and so she just was a little bit damp still but she's totally dry now and uh, she actually came like a few weeks ago, so that's, I guess, why she's completely dry. She's been sitting on my table over there, just being able to dry out completely. But I finally have my frog collection complete, and I'm so excited. And I'm going to be doing a Build-A-Bear collection video very, very soon. It's predominantly frogs, as you can probably imagine, but there are some other ones in there too, so stay tuned for that. I'm so excited to do that video now that I'm like on the butt end of this virus so that I actually can. All right, and then in the same trip where I got the little piggy for my sister, I got, I mean, I already said in the voiceover footage, you guys were already expecting this. It, it was inevitable. It is Miss Karomi, the Halloween version. I was going to get the dress outfit as well, but it was like $27.50 and I thought that was sort of expensive for a little dress considering the sleepers are only $20. I thought if, if it was going to be more, if it was going to be $20, I would have gotten it, but then because it was quite a lot more than just $20, <laughs> I decided against it. But here we have the Halloween Karomi. She's just absolutely beautiful. I didn't even think that I would ever get to see her in person. So she was maybe kind of an impulse buy, but also so, so worth it. She's so cute and perfect and precious. And I'm just, oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, you guys. Because I actually sleep with my other Karomi like almost every single night. Like whether or not Marmalade, my kitten, is there with me. So it's just nice to like have another one that's not going to kind of get destroyed from being cuddled and like I can keep the tags attached and like look at how cute the tag is like excuse the actual heck and do's out of me I love the little um the Halloween version of like the skull on the head it's just so me like this is just totally completely and utterly just like she is the embodiment of me or who I 
who I would like to be, who, how I, how I want to present myself. Anyway, we're going to move on. That's the end of the Build a Bear segment. Okay, so the final segment in today's video is the Jelly Cat segment. There is only one, but uh, it's pretty special. And it's just kind of, you know, really funny considering I did say that I was only going to get uh, purple jelly cats and only bunnies. So basically only purple bunny jelly cats. But then you guys... This, this little guy was released and how on earth could I have said no to this little guy? So this is Myth the Mothman. It's just so beautiful and I just like I just could not say no. I really could not say no and I was gonna get this one from a different website and then by the time I went to go and purchase it it was sold out but then Berserk actually got a shipment in and so I actually had enough points to get $5 off. So altogether, I spent $10 less than what I was initially going to pay for this little cutie. So I'm not too mad about that. I'm just, oh my gosh, you guys. Also, there's like a little thread here that I do have to like cut off, but that's okay. Like, I'm just so excited to even have this little cutie. Like, I'm sorry, but how can this be like some scary mythical creature when it's this stinking cute? It doesn't even have red eyes. It's just the most perfect version of a Mothman that I've ever seen, like ever. It's just, I'm gonna cry because it's so sweet, it's so cute. I don't even have a section of like, I don't have a section anywhere to like show off my jelly cats. I need to rearrange my entire office. It's gonna be a whole thing. It's so cute, you guys. So anyway, this video's raw footage right now is 52 minutes long. That's ridiculous. A lot of it's just coughing though. So there's going to be a lot of edits to have to make, but that's okay. I'm happy now that we've filmed it and I can uh, go and have a rest now before I edit. Hope you guys enjoyed August's hunt and haul video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope you will consider doing so, as well as going ahead and clicking on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I do upload a brand new video. If you enjoyed today's video in particular and you would like to show myself and all the channel some support, you can do so by either becoming a channel member which will unlock access to some pretty cool perks by clicking on the like button and or by letting me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very, very, very much for watching today. And as always, you guys, until next time, <laughs> bye bye.